got stuck one, okay? So, you can see that I section his locks into rubber bands to pretty much give myself an idea of how many locks he gonna end up with and what locks finna fit best with what locks. So, he started out with 61 locks and he ended up with 17 wicks, okay? So, as you can see right now, this is the fix the part step, okay? I use my hands, no scissors, but I do suggest you go ahead and whip them scissors out if you gonna, if you want to really speed up the process. But that's if you want to, but this process is an extremely long process. And it can take up your whole entire day. But it's definitely worth it though, because that money finna talk, baby, okay? And it's talking like an extrovert, okay? I ain't playing no games with you, sis. Shoot, okay? Folks is out here charging 500 plus for doing this. And I definitely see why, because this is some hard work. Your hands gonna be hurting, cramping, cut up, all of that. So, yeah. So, um, then, um, this is the next step, but I actually forgot to, sh to record what I did after I finished fixing the part. So, since it was four locks being combined, I just took three of them through the root of the remaining lock to pretty much, like, interlock the root instantly before I started using the crochet hook, okay? So, then I am going back and forth between the double prong crochet hook and the single prong crochet hook. Um, I pretty much, that's just, I don't know why I did that. I just felt, but I don't know. I just wanted to go back and forth between it. Anyways, so, as y'all can see, I'm just going through. I'm starting up there at the top. I'm going through with the crochet hook in and out in different ways and a different technique. Now, I planned on going into detail about what I'm doing when I'm going in and out of the um, of the locks or the wigs or whatever. But I decided that yo girl made a Patreon, okay, because I feel like I went into really far, far into detail on my other videos where I tell y'all what techniques I use going in and out with the crochet hook. I feel like I went into detail and I feel like, you know, if you want more of the juice, more of the tea, more of the um, technique, then I feel like you know you could go on over to my patreon join the family you gonna get some real far into detail i'm gonna tell y'all exactly the techniques that i use when i'm using these crochet hooks but um you know and like i said people making uh five hundred dollars or more doing um combining logs making wicks and whatnot and so you know i feel like my patreon is three dollars and 33 cent and i feel like you know for you to be making all that money you are definitely you know um you should be okay with spending three dollars and 33 cent on your girl so that you could get that big bag that you're trying to get sis but anyways what i am gonna tell y'all is this I'm squeezing those locks in between my fingers really tight. Really, really tight. I'm squeezing them locks really, really tight. The reason why I'm squeezing them tight is because if you don't squeeze them tight, then you could be working against yourself by pushing the locks apart. Especially with the multiple prongs. The multiple prongs can definitely push the locks apart instead of pulling together if you're not squeezing a lock. So, as you can see, um... This a whole new day, baby, okay? And this is the last lock. I simply saved this lock to show y'all. This lock right here, I'm 
is for my Patreon. On my Patreon, you're going to see me talk into deep detail about what it is you need to be doing with your crochet hook. If you want to make that big bag, I'm sure you have $3.33 to spare, okay? So... Um, what I can tell y'all is that if you don't want to pay for my Patreon, that's fine. Go ahead over to my other videos that's been in deep detail and they're going to tell you what it is that you need to know and whatever it is that you don't need to know. I mean, whatever it is that I didn't say or mention, um, you know, it's not that hard to figure it out. It's really not. I'm self-taught. I taught myself how to do this. Look at that. Oh my goodness, sis. Look at that. Oh snap, oh snap, they looking good, but this ain't even the final result, baby, just keep watching, okay, just keep watching, because we gotta dye his hair, he wanted to add a little bit of natural black up there, he wanted me to get them roots real good, so just stay tuned for a few more seconds, and you're gonna see what they came out to be, baby, because... They looking good, okay? Look at them ends. We like rounded ends, baby. We love it. Look at that. Mm. I like that. Yes. Yes, I like that, sis. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Let me see that natural. Ooh. Look at them parts, baby. Look at that right there. What? He had how many locks? 61. 61. And now he got what? 17 wigs. They look good. Okay. If y'all like this, go ahead and leave me a comment. Comment. If you don't like it, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what I did wrong. Let me know what I did right. If you think that this is fine, go ahead and give me that like. If you want your hair done like his, Go ahead and hit my line. Go ahead. Instagram Germany Bad with two D's, baby. Thank you for watching. Love y'all so much. I'm going to check in with y'all a little later.